We are the psychologists, uh, and your job over the next 10 weeks is to play the role of the psychologist, to be the consumer psychologist. So each of you will have to pretend you're James, or pretend you're a good consumer psychologist, let's say. You have to be in there and say, you know, but is it good? Is this ad any good? Is it branded well? What would the consumers think? Will consumers like it? You know, does it have, does it have an, an emotional message? Is there any motivation? Where is the name of the product? So you have to think about all those things. That is really going to be your role, other than being creative, being a good team player and all that. That's going to be kind of your job over the next 10 weeks, is to act like a consumer psychologist. So when you're in your little mixed team, you're all going to have, a par you're going to have partners from the other disciplines. So each of you will have uh, in your team a business person, an engineering person, a design person, and an SCSM, which he should have said what it means, but it's the School of Creative Studies and Media, I think. <laughs> yeah, SCSM. So they're sort of uh, media experts, advertising, art, things like that. So you're going to have these other people with you, and you'll all be working on a single product together, but you have to always be the voice for psychology. So if they're going down some weird path and you realize there's no way you're going to be able to brand it, you might want to say, but what is really the brand message meant to be? Or, you know, how, when someone sees this product, how will they know that it is our product? So you have to be sort of always pushing for the psychology side of things. Now, I guess the next thing I want to do is for us to think about what, why we're here. But what I'm interested in is for you to be thinking about what knowledge and what skills and what characteristics do you bring to this party? What is it that you've got to bring? So perhaps things that you've kind of been studying, looking at, but also perhaps some of the traits, characters, um, trends, skills, that kind of thing. What do you bring to this? So just spend a couple of minutes just have a think about it, and then we'll write some stuff up on the board. So let's think a little bit more about the other area that we need to focus on, which is finance. What, what do you think are the key issues in terms of finance that we need to look into? So we've got a host of different ideas on the table. We need to start looking into which might be the best idea to take forward. The cost of producing it. How much it's going to cost to produce? Yeah, maybe, maybe sell it for more than you're actually uh, creating yeah. it for. Yeah. Make sure you're getting value for money as a producer as well. Yeah. As a consumer is for buying the product. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm really pleased to hear that you, you reckon function, there can be more than one function to a product. Some products have one function, others will have lots and lots. You know, the iPhone in my pocket here is literally dozens of functions, but the cup you've been drinking your coffee out of has a couple of functions, don't hurt your fingers, holds the liquid up to your mouth, that sort of thing. And, and having that idea, yeah, absolutely, it is environmentally friendly, might be considered to be a function. And we're talking about sustainability here. Is sustainable, perhaps isn't a function, but uses, yeah, that, that, that sort of thing might be construed as a function. So what we're going to try and do as, as the weeks go on, is we're trying to bring these two things together, function and value, so that even somebody who hasn't got you know, acres of experiences in engineering and technology can still take those two ideas and actually help make the products they're developing, make sure that the cost is low because every function you put together is valued by the customer. I love it. <laughs> this is good oh, we have two? Um, I think this is uh, a great opportunity, you know, um, I don't really know how to get an idea and then put it in through the many systems like manufacturing and advertising, I think we get to know all the aspects of it, so I think this is good for anybody really who, you know, wants to go into like, production and you know, going through systems and through many different channels and different subjects and whatnot, so I think it's going to be really good. The goal really of tonight is to get to know each other, to, to kind of understand a little bit more about each other. So we've got um, a team building exercise, uh, it's called the Paper Tower Challenge. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, let the competition begin. Your task is you've got ten minutes to build two towers. 
No pressure, but we've got a product really launch in eight minutes. It's not been too bad so far. It's um, quite entertaining. They seem really enthusiastic about the whole thing. So. One of the things we want to discover is hybridisation and ideas across different flowers. Have a look around. Who's winning? Can you modify the design to optimise where you're going? <laughs> okay, so the winners. Yeah. Big hand of applause. No learning experience of this type is really much use unless we actually review. So, five minutes now with your facilitator. What went well? Things like the planning, the design, the execution of what you did, the teamwork, the leadership, how you did your roles. How was your team doing? So you'll sit down and... What did we learn?